Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this dome. Let's get started. So first, let's start in a new architecture template. Go to massing and side and click in place mass. Click close and let's just leave it as mass one and press OK. At the moment we're in level one. We're gonna click reference plane and let's create a line in the middle like this. Let's put a name on this reference plane. I'm just going to click this one and then I'll call this A and then enter. Let's now go to elevation and let's pick south elevation. And then let's set a reference line to A and then press OK. We're going to create a model line. Let's create a vertical line like this. An arc like this. And then we're going to select both of them. So I'm selecting them and then holding on control button and then let's create the form. We're going to select this form and if we see it on 3D view it will look like this. So we're going to select both of this as again and then hold on control button to select both of them. and then click on divide surface and then with this we can select different kinds of pattern so let's try triangle flat hit escape and then if you select one of one side of the dome you can actually change the v or the u grid so the v and u grid is what makes this pattern so if you increase the v grid for example let's put this at 25 you can see that it will be a lot smoother so i'm gonna choose 10 and 25 and then I'm going to select half of the dome again and change this to 25. So 10 and 25. Let's see if we change this to 15. So I like the 10 instead. So 10 and 25. And then we have... 10 and 25. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new family. It will be and it will be curtain panel pattern base. Press OK. So now let's go to floor plan level one click this and we're gonna look for our triangle flat the same pattern that we created we added on our dome so with this we could create our frame so at the moment when we see when we saw our dome it's just flat without any frame or glass in this family base, we're going to create the frame and the glass. 
So let's look at it at 3D. It will look like this. So for now, so I'm just going to click Escape for now. So let's create the frame first. So click Point Element. Click it anywhere on this line or any line here. So once you click that there, press escape again. Click on that point. And then you can select circle. And let's make this 100. Press escape twice click on this circle and then hold on control and click on the lines and then click create form solid form and it will look like this so we have the frame now next let's create the glass so go to visual style and click wireframe we're just going to select the chain of wall lines as you can see and then click tab so we're clicking all all of all of them together and then let's create that form. So now we have the glass. You can either change the positive offset right here, or you could just change it from the properties. So I'm just going to put in around 20 and then apply so click escape before we load it to our project let's add in the materials first so click family types and then let's add in a new parameter This will be material. And then let's first create a frame. Press OK. And then another one. Let's create the glass. Press OK. And then apply. And then OK. So now let's uh, select the frame first. So this will be the frame and then let's select the glass. So let's look at it at hidden line. And that will be the look in our dome. So the next thing you do is save this and load to the project. So I'm saving this and naming it as dome frame. So once it's saved, I'm going to load it to the project. And then let's look at it at 3D. Select both of this by holding on control and it will be here dome frame it will change and it will look like this
So I'm just going to select both of the dome and click on edit and then I'm just going to add in some materials. So I'm applying the materials now and it will look like this. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.